Welcome back to Mario Superstar Baseball. This is Dinger City. We have Tyler on the right, Jason on the left. Yeah, boy. With me, I have Joey. And we're playing some wacky team logos. Look at this. Yeah, look at dude. I've never this seen the Yoshi flutters before. It's it's vanilla Mario Baseball. I don't even yeah. know what that is on the left. Uh, it's the Daisy Petals. Why is it a shell? So the requirements for the teams, the Daisy Petals is Daisy, Captain, Dixie Kong, Birdo, Petey Piranha, and Wario <laughs> snuck into the sleepover. <laughs> yep, yep. A peddler. And the uh, the Yoshi flutters are all the flying characters. So you have Yoshi Captain, and then you have King Boo and Boo, Paratroopa, and Paragoomba. You know, Petey Piranha flies. He, he does. That's true. But he's not, like, hovering, you know? Like, all the other ones, they're, like, in a constant state of flying. I'm wondering, is there any matchup uh, between team logos that is impossible unmodded? Besides, you know, like a Luigi team versus a Luigi team? Probably. Like, is there any like two teams that use? I'm, I'm sure there is because there's so many teams. I'm pretty sure they were looking. And they but were you know what? What's the forbidden matchups? Oh, nice catch from Birdo there. Yeah, I don't like Yoshi Egg that much. Man, to be this honest, TV is smaller. Yeah, it I is. don't like Yoshi Egg as much as the next guy because it's really like singles don't do it for me anymore. No, nah, I know. And, and as you can see, they're playing on Yoshi's Stadium, and that's why that one's out of the park. That. Oh. So something to note, this is uh, the place that I saw. Look at the the full logos there. I like yeah, the wow. Yoshi flutters a lot. I don't yeah, like I this like the one, rainbows. Though. I don't like this version, like the small one. Yeah. Um, it looks like uh, an MLB team's logo, though. <laughs> anyway, this is the stadium where I've seen a clip of Noki getting hit with a ball and bobbling it over the fence for a home run. Right. I've seen that on Mario Stadium. I don't know if it was oh. Noki in particular, but I've seen that happen. Okay. I, I've seen it uh, on this stadium. I think the wall's probably a little shorter. Yeah. Interesting that he got a uh, King Boo there. Yeah, that was a good hit for no stars. I have to say I like the stadium a lot. Yeah. Um, it's It's got little pedals on the mound, and it's got a, a Yoshi in the back. It's, that, it's uh, good for everyone. I know you would think that on Yoshi Stadium, the Yoshi team would be the home team. But it's <laughs> that is that is rude. <laughs> it's a foul ball. Oh no. Yeah, you, you think Yoshi would be the home team on the Yoshi Stadium, but it's actually the Daisy Petals because of the petals around the mound. Right, right. Yeah, so it's it's a a common misconception. Let's see if you can field this. You can. Oh, look at the flowers in the outfield too. Look at that. Wow, this is like this is tailor made for both teams. Five, five year old Andrew would like. Love it here to play baseball here. Uh, I wouldn't play the game, but like you picking daisies. I'm picking daisies. Yeah. Uh, I have a question, Andrew. Yeah. If you had a Mario baseball team, I, I guess this question's kind of answered already. That wasn't called the City Hall Dirges. Uh huh. If you had like another team, that was like the Andrew Somethings. Uh oh, so it'd have to be the Andrew Somethings. Yeah. The Andrew. Uh, you got the City Hall one. Andrew. Uh... <laughs> Is, uh, riveting yeah, uh, information. Uh, I'm, I'm like, here's the scoop. I'm like, I'm, I'm trying, like, like Nestle Crunch. Like, that doesn't fit at all. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, what, Nestle what? Crunch? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Andrew Nestle Crunches? No, just the Andrew Nestle Crunch. Oh, okay. Um, who, who would be required to be on the Andrew Nestle Crunches <laughs> along with Captain Andrew? Uh, Captain Crunch. <laughs> Uh, the 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 Nestle Bunny, you know, you know him. <laughs> no, I actually don't. He's uh Nesquik. Sorry, the Nesquik oh, Bunny. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know him. Um, the the kid. The, this is this is Mugen baseball, right? Everyone's allowed. The yeah. the kid who goes like that's Nestle's crunch, and he crunches the thing from the commercial. Right. Gotta have him. I'm familiar. And then uh, throw a uh, Clifford. Clifford, big red dog. You gotta have a Wario on your pedals, right? Clifford would probably be, he, he, he got to have a Wario on your pedals. Yeah, he'd probably be pretty good. Uh, what, what's your team? Uh, I'm thinking, I think my team would be like the, uh, oh, oh, pain. Hmm. I have a better one, by the way, once you're done. <laughs> no, 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 you can go ahead again because I've got nothing. All right, it would be the Andrew Orbs, and it would have, you know, <laughs> Kirby, Orb Pondering Wizard. Oh, uh, that's a good one, it, yeah. would, it would have, um, there's so many Orb-like characters. Hang on. Uh, the O from Puyo Tetris. Uh, Boo. <laughs> that that's a fair point. You know, a bunch of orbs. Yeah, that that is a good orb team. You just need four, so yeah. There's your four. There's my four. Now I got to think of one because you thought of two, dude. Yeah, that's intense. I, I wasn't prepared for this at all. That's right. Yeah. Um. Hmm. 
Oh, oh that's, oh, that's going oh, in. Oh, look at that. Oh, man, the piranha plants are really, they're really annoying. Oh, it's no outs, too. Yeah. No star. No star, and it's going to its gonna be a sack Blue bunt, essentially. Blue badge makes it. All right, ready? Here's my team. Okay. And uh, I'm not getting copyright claimed by Luigi. All right. My team's going to be... The Joey Mansioneers. The Joey Knights. Okay. With a K. Okay. Of course. Uh, my team's going to be... Um, my team's going to be... Uh, hmm... Ornstein from Dark Souls. Yeah, no smoke, just Ornstein. Oh, just Ornstein. <laughs> just Ornstein. Yeah. He's, he's much more knightly. Yeah, I think right. um, probably the Hollow Knight would. Make yeah, sense, like the right? Hollow Knight. Yeah, definitely him. Um, the uh, Nightwing from Batman, Ooh. but like the animated version. I know there's no live action Nightwing, but like he's animated in my baseball game. Okay. Nice. Oh, oh Mario, no. no, the worst Bob lighting up two runs. Uh, in in fairness, that did. That did hit the ground. Really? Yeah, because he didn't have the circle after he bobbled it. Well, if you saw that. Well, might, the circle might have been removed because it was a bit of a low bobble. It also might have been because it was a Daisy Star hit. I'm, I'm convinced he caught that. I think it always gets the, the circle. I think it would be really weird for you to be able to dive and catch it after the ball hits the ground. Unless it's like a weird you can scenario. Do that. Usually, when it's like a weird hit when that happens. Maybe. I don't know. You can dive and get the ball. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it did hit the ground. Who knows? Leave a comment. All right, I think you might need one or two more characters. I need one more to... guy. Yeah. What, what about uh, what about Knights, the video game character? Uh, no, I was just thinking about taking like iOS night mode. <laughs> <laughs> the incarnation of <laughs> yeah. iOS night mode. Yeah, like 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 everyone on my team has night mode on their phones. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, let let us know in the comments what your yeah. team would be and who would win between the the Joey <laughs> Knights and uh, the Andrew Orbs <laughs> or the Andrew Nestle Crunches do or the think, Andrew Nestle Crunch know. actually. Do you think the Andrew Orbs like? Do you think the wizard plays baseball or does he just ponder his orb? I think he's he's sitting at home pondering his orb. Oh, or do you think like he's the catcher and every time he catches the ball, he just takes that and like. He ponders the ball, Whoa. and they're, the umpire's like, "Man, you got to throw the ball back!" <laughs> like, come on, we got we got a game to do. There's been one pitch; it's been an hour. Dude, me catching oh, my baseball, <laughs> me me pondering my strike. So I have no idea what's going on in this game. Uh, well, it's one three, I believe. Jason's, Jason's the the Daisy team. Yeah, Jason's <laughs> winning. let's see if we get the out at third. No, he doesn't go for it because uh, the character was not there yet. All right. Well, we have uh, a runner in scoring position, as they say in the business. That's that's been uh, Dude, something I've heard before. That is what they say in the business. You're so baseball. Uh, what's the word for it? Brained. Baseball brain. <laughs> you are. I, I've become a lot more baseball brain throughout this club. Dude, I, I think if you were to like any sport, baseball's the one. I'm I'm thinking uh, if you're gonna like any sport, it should be like a dumb, like oh, real sport. That's that's fair. Like, like water bowling. Water bowling? Yeah. What is that? Um, I'm, I can make it up right now. It's Oh, it's not real. It's not real. Oh. Uh, I can think of something. All right. Oh, no. What? <laughs> Dude, Paratroop was on a mission. <laughs> so the, the pins are floating. Of course. And they're, they're bobbed in a way so that they always stay upright. Okay. You are 30 feet away. Or, you know, a bowling uh, lane length away. Call it 30. You have a bowling ball. Like a, like a real bowling ball? Yeah, that sinks. <laughs> okay. Knock over the pins. First one to do it wins the whole sport, and then it can't be played anymore. Okay. What, oh, what, okay. What's your strategy? Oh, it's like a one and done? Yeah, one and done. Can I move? Uh, Not past the line, but yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um... Dude, I don't this think... is this is like a not you know not to be weird not to bring up uh, D and D because it gets brought up too much and I hate it but yeah. uh, what this is like a D and D puzzle. What's your solution? Do you have a solution in mind? No. Oh, okay. Th that's um, the point of the sport is that like I I can't think of a solution. All right. So here's my thinking. Right. Yeah. There. He has Diddy Kong. That's a close one. Oh, he's, he's weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So so given that there are ten pins, right? Right. And once all ten are knocked down, the game ends forever. Uh, once any of them are knocked down. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was going to say all I have to do is knock down one pin. I'm immortalized in, like, history. Yeah, you would be immortalized for knocking down one pin. Yeah. So uh, do I get anything for knocking down additional pins, or it's just like you got 10 because you get 10? It's, it's like, like more it's likely. It's like, man, this guy's a legend. He knocked down 
Two. More than one. We were scientists were boggled at how to knock down one pin. Okay, and how, can I choose my weight of bowling ball, or is there standard Oh, yeah, you, could, you know, standard bowling ball, whatever you'd find at a bowling alley. All right, so I'm taking the six-pounder. Okay. Of the lightest ball. All right. Um, is it like, is there like a rack that I'm taking it off of, or am I like treading water with the bowling treading ball? Treading water with the ball. So I'm treading, right? Like, yeah, I'm not, yeah. I can't stand. You can't stand. How, how deep? It's Ten feet. Okay. So what I do... I go to the bottom of the pool. Okay. With the bowling ball. All right. And I I hold it above me. All right. And I propel as hard as I can off I propel as hard as I can off the bottom of the pool. Uh-huh. And then when I break the water, I fling the ball forward with my forwards momentum that I now created. So I'm coming on my upwards momentum and now I fling the ball forward and with the momentum of throwing the ball I do a flip. And yeah. that's just for style points. And I clobber all 10 pins. Okay, so what's your plan to knock them over? I'm going to hit them with the ball. They're like floating. They're like inflatable pins. Oh, you're saying like they don't fall over? No, they're, they're like I thought floating. they were like pins on a floating device that if I knock, like I can knock them off. No, they, they're oh. they're little, they're buoys, basically. Oh, oh, they're, oh. They're buoys, but they're, smaller. They're like weebles. They're like, weebles. They, they wobble, they, but they yeah. don't fall down. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think a buoy is chained to the bottom of the pool, so are the pins. That's what I was, okay, that, that's fair, that's fair. I don't know how to knock them over. Uh, I got it. Yeah? Yeah, you do exactly, this is, this is gonna, see, okay. So this isn't going to work as well because, like, underwater things are hard. Uh -huh. well, what I'm going to do, is there anyone with me? Sure. I'm going to get as many people as I can to start to make a whirlpool in the pool, right? Okay. And then once I make this whirlpool with en enough strength to to move. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping over the ball. Look, it's off-season. Tyler's going to he's gonna practice. He's practicing. <laughs> yeah, with Mario, you have like a 3% chance to bobble. It's probably not worth it um, if, you, if you're not confident. Uh, so so anyway, so I get the uh, the whirlpool with the force of a thousand suns. Mm -hmm. And then... <laughs> I was going to get him though. So, and then I, I do a bit of a spinny maneuver underneath. And I kind of like hammer throw or like discus throw the bowling ball. And it gets caught in my whirlpool stream. And then it will uh, eventually swirl around the pool and land on the chain holding down one of the pins. All right. And it will pull the pin under because it's like the chain's like this and now it gets crushed. So it's like pulled down a bit. Is that like, is that knocking over though? Uh, I don't know. I haven't read the rule book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, then I'm just going to say no. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The sport lives. Um, So is there a rule book? No. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross the line. <laughs> and I'm going I'm to go knock over jo one of the Joey, things. you've done it. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude, once you gave me the, the no rule book, okay, all bets are off. There, there's a, a regular show bit where there's like a place with no rules. And then um, and Mordecai and Rigby, they go, there is one rule here. You have a rule against rules. And then he's like, there's no rule against rules. <laughs> <laughs> you could have rules. They I just could. don't. Yeah. And that's, you know what? That's the there's best no, thing. There's no rules in uh, water bowling. My new sport. That, that Anyway, if you were going to choose a sport to be good at, it would be that one. Yeah, because you you would be good, and then you'd go down in history as the best water bowler ever. Right. It's like uh, the first guy to get like an untied, untieable record. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the, and those are, those are well, you know, well documented now. Yeah. A lot of untieable records in sports. Uh, such as? Perfect game of bowling. Uh, most, uh, well, I mean, the first guy to get a perfect bowling yeah, game is the best. That's a tieable record. Very tieable. Oh, you're right. <laughs> how do you get, a, how do you get an untieable record? Well, and like, I mean, like there's like, like out of Royd era baseball. <laughs> uh, it's like out of modern era. So for example, Cy Young, uh, they named an award after him, the Cy Young award given to the best pitcher in each league uh -huh. every year. Uh, he has pitched. I think like 800 complete games, all nine innings. And why can't people do that? Well, the average amount of complete games that a pitcher throws now is like four per season, maybe. What happens when I put in? Uh, it's just the game has changed. Pitchborg. So I mean, Pitchborg might do it. All right. Yeah. And then they call it the Pitchborg Award. It's just the game has changed so much. Like pitchers throw so hard, they can't go nine innings now. Like people used to throw like 130 pitches in a game. Now they throw like 110 max, like absolute max. Usually they don't come past like 90. Do you think if you gave me a hundred thousand dollars and a year and 
a, a lot of incentive. That cam was hype. And a lot of incentive to do it. Do you think I can make a better pitching robot than a human pitcher? What like like to trick batters? Like like to like to so, like, strike you know, out more people? Yeah, to strike out more people. Hundred thousand dollars in a year? Yeah. Uh, I think that you could just have the robot shoot the ball at extremely high speeds and no one would be able to hit it. That was my design philosophy. Yeah, no, I, I, think, I think you could manage. <laughs> is, uh, is basically make like a, a cannon. Dude, I think that, yeah, I was going to say, I think those might exist already. I, I actually saw a video of a dude shooting a baseball through a gong at like That's Mach awesome. 20. I think you just need to work on like accuracy to make sure it hits it the same really spot. It was really accurate. Oh, damn. So it's done. You don't even need it's the money. It's done. I'll just buy the you cannon. You just robbed me of $100,000. <laughs> Uh, it and, makes uh, a I, sick noise too. It goes like, that's awesome. But yeah, there, there's some other unbeatable records in baseball. Cal Ripken played like almost three thousand. <laughs> that might be uh, like I think over maybe like fifteen hundred games in a row. So those are just like probably unbeatable, right? It, yeah, it's like given the way the game's played nowadays, that's never gonna happen. But like the game could change. I guess so. Who are you texting? I'm looking up Cal Ripken's record. Looking up Cal Ripken's record. Okay. And then, do you know about any other sports with with untieable records? Uh, yeah, I'm sure there are a bunch. Uh, I'll 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 give you a quick thing off the top of my mind. Uh, okay. But Cal Ripken, by the way, I was right. Um, the first time he played two thousand six hundred and thirty two games what? in a row. That in a row? What does that mean? So like like no breaks. His team <laughs> his team had two thousand six hundred and thirty two games. He played in every single one. Wow. No breaks. Like there were breaks when the team had off. <laughs> but um when did he when did he go to the bathroom that's a great he didn't <laughs> that that's why it's unbeatable because <laughs> he didn't piss for for 10 years uh earlier today you asked me if i was from the same planet that mark zuckerberg was yeah but i think cooler. that guy might be an alien cal ripkin cal ripkin yeah, yeah but he's on like a totally different planet <laughs> yeah a different planet that's a tough double play for tyler for, there like, jason has six hits <laughs> 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 Tyler's getting unlucky. No stars either. Yeah. Oh man, that's tough. Yeah. So, so that's a fun, fun little thing from Cal Ripken. Uh, yeah. Wayne Gretzky. He's a hockey guy. Crushed. Oh, I know Wayne oh, Gretzky. Give oh, it the to Piranha me, Piranha. Plant. Oh, he didn't get. Oh, it. oh he got hey, it. Eaten. Oh. He's going three. Oh. He's going son. <laughs> he's going home. Oh, is he? Come home? on. No he's... laser. Oh, he's, got oh laser. he's got Yoshi. No, he's he didn't have the laser. I didn't see Yoshi there. Oh man. Wayne Gretzky's got like a single season scoring record, I think. That's pretty insane. Uh huh. Um, I, I would have star hit there for the sack fly. You got it anyway. Yeah. Bunk gets the same thing across. Yeah, I guess you're right. Saves a star. Oh, Yoshi, Yoshi makes that. Yoshi's legging that one out. But yeah, there, there are some. I, I think there are some records that like. There, I don't think there's a record that it's like you will never be able to break this unless it's something like the rule changed and you can't play that one anymore. Right. You know what I mean? Or if it's, uh, oh. if it's cheated, if it's fake. Uh, yeah, like uh, Barry Bonds is the single is the home run all time home run leader, but he did a lot of steroids, <laughs> <laughs> so that sucks. All right, top of the ninth. I didn't realize it was the last inning already. We kind of bullshitted for a while. Yeah, that's what that's my specialty. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and we're already down to two outs. Tyler down to his last the last straw for Tyler Chiaffi here. Yeah, I think uh, I don't think he's gonna win. I'd love to see him dink one with DK though. Uh, I'll take a, a dink before we go. Yeah. Throw my meatball. Oh, he please, fucking got him. Please. He didn't say please, he was going to do you. it. He didn't say he was going to do it. Let's see. Do, do it or you, or you have Are we a, getting the Peamer meatball? Do you, yeah. Pitch oh, with the, he's, he's the, giving him the star pitch. What, what's the expression? Dance with who you brought. Pitch with who you bought. I have no fucking idea what that means. I think he's giving him a meatball with the daisy. Pitch. Oh, baby. Holy shit. That was awesome. That, that ball just oh, hit man. the guy's chimney. What great timing from Tyler. Yeah, like, that was impressive. That ball was not on the screen. <laughs> that was amazing. Very cool. I knew I knew he was giving him the meatball with the daisy pitch, but I did not I did, expect I, him to perfect home run I it. I probably wouldn't have hit that. No, I, I don't think I would have either. Tyler's trying to make the comeback now. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, he's got Boomer he's up. He's got Boomer. I, he's I, got I, Boomer I, up. Let's I go. I think I'm walking Boomer. Yeah, but that's for babies. I'm a baby. See you. All right, whoop, there's the game. That's the game. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Dinger City out. All right, I'm going to do the outro. All right, fine. Do the outro. Thanks for watching. Stuff in the description. Patrons on the screen. Dinger City out. <laughs>